You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, Lucky Penny Shop here, and it is time for a game called Farkle Flip, and it's a card game. Two or more player, ages eight and up. It's a patch game. Now, let's just check it out here, because uh, we've all heard of Farkle, actually. I've played Farkle and seen it played uh, quite a bit. So let's see. Farkle Flip puts a new spin on Patch's popular Farkle game. Flip, car flip cards over, hoping to make combinations. If you draw a Farkle, you lose your points for that round. But wait. But wait. You can score those Farkle cards later. That's definitely a new twist on Farkle. Okay. Contents. 110 cards. Uh... Four score summary cards and the rules. So let's uh, check it out, huh? If you're a Farkle fanatic, go to FarkleFan.com for everything Farkle. All right. Let's check it out. Got to be careful opening this. It's hard to open. I will open it. I don't want to rip. There we go. Hate ripping things. Especially new games. Always try to keep my games and card games in the best condition. But I ripped it just slightly. Let's see. Ooh, there's some other games there. Let me get my cutting utensil here. And I will open these up. There is the Farkle we all know. Or maybe you don't know. Let me see. Ooh, it's challenging to get in. Got to break that. Oh, there we go. Break that plastic. So there's the cards. Ooh, the feeling of fresh cards. You like that feeling in your hands when you open up fresh cards? Let's get this next one open. And I will take this card out and this card out right now. Because we are just concerned about Farkle Flip. But you saw the other ones. So let's see if these are in any particular order. They are all nicely organized. There's your fives, your sixes, there's your farkles. And there's a cheat sheet scoring, right, to make it easier for you. Let's check this out. There's your ones, your twos, your threes, your fours, all the way through. More farkles and an extra two scoring cards. But I'm assuming now I have to shuffle all those, so maybe what I'll do is, because shuffling is really loud on your ears, well, there's the rules. For video rules, visit patchproducts.com slash rules. All right. For two or more players, ages eight and up, contents, we got all that. Here's the scoring. So there is the setup. Set the score summary cards out so everyone can see as a reference. These are your score summary cards. And uh, shuffle the rest of the cards and deal one card to each player. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle the rest of the cards and then come back when they're all nicely shuffled, because it could take a lot of shuffles, but I'll shuffle one for you. They're stiff. Stiff to shuffle. So let me do that a few times, and then we'll come back and look at the game more. All right, I am back. I've shuffled this deck numerous times. I cut the deck and reshuffled over and over again. Uh, so I think I've got a pretty good layout of cards. Let me just show you the scoring card up close, kind of like your little memory cheat sheet. So you remember what the numbers you need to get the most points. Like six Farkles is the most points. Now it's okay to get Farkles, it just ends your turn, and you're going to collect them off on the side. Now, I'm not actually going to do gameplay, because uh, it's just too hard to do with one person. But let's just take a quick look at the rules, and uh, show you the setup there. Uh, how to play. The player to the left of the other is the first to draw a card from the deck. If you draw a number, you may place the card with the card in front of yourself or the card in front of any other player. The goal is to create combinations that score. See above or the score summary cards for reference. Okay, that's why you have those. Continue drawing one card at a time, placing in front of yourself or another player. It can be a different person each time you draw. So to start, everybody gets one face card. It's okay to have a Farkle. But we'll just move it out because uh, two Farkles. All right. We don't need them right away. We need a face card here. Let me see what it says when you draw out. Uh, I have to try to shuffle the rest of the cards. So everyone can see them okay. Face up. Keep the card in front of you, away from you. If you are dealt a Farkle card, it's okay. Just set it to the side. Okay, so I did it. So there you go. 
And uh, so this would be, it's time for the first player to go. So let's just assume that this is the first player. So they are going to draw now and see that they have a two, which really doesn't make any combination at all. So let's see, another two. So now you have two twos, a five. So maybe you want to put the five there. A three, okay, and you're going to keep going. Now your chances of getting the Farkle is what's going to really mess you up. So if you get the Farkle card, accidentally, I didn't even realize, your turn is now ended. So you can keep flipping cards as long as you want, but once you get this, it's set off to the side. So no points for me there. So we may stop drawing at any time and score any points you've moved to the center. So the ultimate goal is, let's just say you did three fives, and now you're going to take your chance and do three Five, which is 500 points before you draw I guess you can actually uh, take that as your points yeah so then you would keep going and the winning winning the player with the highest score of 10,000 or more is the winner if playing with six or more players you may decide to play to only 5,000 or 7,500 points to avoid a very long great uh, game so when you draw that uh, Farco card it does give you special things that you need to do here, so please check that out. And then uh, when to score your Farco cards. You add any Farco cards to score when you bank a scoring combination. For example, if you have four twos in the center and stop drawing to take that 1,000 points, and you also have three Farco cards in your possession, you will add another 300 to your score. So I guess I could put that in there if I wanted to and uh, go from there. So lost combinations. If you had potential scoring cards in the center of the playing area and you drew a Farkle, so if I'm in this position and my next card is this, then my turn is over and these come back to here. They're no longer available for scoring. Wow, so until you actually play it with some people and you know get the game going, it's hard to really get a full understanding, but it looks like it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fast and you're flipping cards and adding combinations of numbers. Sparkle Flip. How's that? Pretty neat. Cards are nice, colorful, and that is the game for you. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. If you want to check out uh, in the description for a link, it is there, or search our channel for more games. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny... Pick it up!